The son of a pioneer prairie surgeon, Dr. Bruce Chown received his medical degree from the University of Manitoba. After completing a specialty in pediatrics at Columbia, Cornell, and Johns Hopkins, he returned to the Winnipeg Children's Hospital, where he eventually was named head of pediatrics. He went on to found a laboratory in the basement of the hospital to study what is commonly known as RH disease. Dr. John Bowman is now the medical director of the RH laboratory. Uh, Dr. Chow, who had a very keen intellect and curiosity, was uh, with his colleague, Professor Marion Lewis, was very, very interested in a disease which was devastating. It was called erythroblastosis fetalis. Babies born of RH negative mothers became jaundiced in the first few days of life, and a very high percentage of them died. The condition was called kernicterus. And this basically is the reason why Dr. Chow founded the RH laboratory in 1944 to carry out research into what possibly was the cause of erythroblastosis, and if the cause was known, whether treatment would be available. Now, the RH blood group system was discovered in 1940, and the first exchange transfusion was carried out in 1945 in New York. And in July of 1945, under Dr. Chow, a, the first exchange transfusion was carried out in Winnipeg. So that was the beginning of a series of events uh, coordinated and carried out by Dr. Chow, which led to a, a great triumph in the management of erythroblastosis fetalis. At one time, before exchange transfusion, the mortality from erythroblastosis was 50%. It accounted for 10% of all the fetal deaths and neonatal deaths in Canada. Now, of course, there are almost no fetal deaths or neon and neonatal deaths from this condition. And this is directly due to the work that was taken, carried out by Dr. Chown. And Dr. Chown, <coughs> with a young hematologist by the name of Dr. Sapersky, developed a, in Canada, RH immunization, which was by the use of an antibody, RH antibody, which was processed from the plasma of RH negative women with high antibody levels into a material called RH immune globulin. Uh, Dr. Chown was involved, as a matter of fact, he organized the clinical trials of RH prevention uh, through the use of this wonderful material, RH immune globulin. The clinical trial was completely successful and RH immune globulin was licensed for use in Canada in December of 1968. In his acceptance speech before the Gairdner Foundation dinner in 1968, Dr. Chown stressed the importance of getting any new discovery to the people who need it. What I have had to do has been more, less research and more development. Basic research runs around the world very quickly and becomes universally known, but uh, development is a matter of local Practice. The impact Dr. Chown's work has held on the field of medicine, of course, is basically the pioneering work that he did, again with Professor Lewis and another colleague, uh, Hiroko Kaita. But of course, Dr. Chown was far more than that. He was a, a marvelous educator, and also, of course, he was a marvelous gentleman. Uh, I have to say that having known Dr. Chown for 40 years, uh, I consider him to be one of the greatest Canadian physicians of all time.